Good morning, folks. We're entering the core of an earthquake watch period here as things have been below normal for about five days. Alma leaps forward on Starwater and will run down a world of weather, but we begin over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star, once again very calm. Dark plasma filaments facing Earth and still incoming. Thus far, they have all remained stable and not produced major ejecta. More at the limb now. Solar flares are no concern, way low there as well with no sunspots facing Earth, and solar wind will take the cake, remaining intensified from the coronal hole stream, and although the storm was not major, its instability and general disruption has persisted for days as the tail end of the stream is still causing even more perturbations of Earth's magnetic field. The bulk mass of that corona hole is exiting to the right with another coming in from the left, but look at that thin slice of the dark between them. Tough to tell how powerful it is or how influential its IMF might be. It's not something wrong with my eyes, it's in flux and thin to begin with, so the opening is being intermittently closed by the sun's activity, or at least the door isn't flung wide open, so to speak. Gong data makes it tough to know if there is even an IMF escape in that zone. Either way, the coronal holes are turning in as we enter the new week and Mercury heliocentrically opposes Saturn today before geocentrically conjoining the Sun on the 28th. Up next, we're at ALMA where a brand new 1.4 to 1.8 millimeter radio wave detector is in play. This is utterly vital because water sends out a 1.64 millimeter radio wave dead in the capture zone for that device. Let the star water be revealed, folks. It's only a matter of time. Anyway, back to Earth where a super typhoon formed and intensified during this extended geomagnetic disruption from the Corona hole. Noctan is a beast with some awesome penumbral ridging of the Earth spot vapor. Its effects begin now with the Philippines and will last until it catches a mountain and jumps the island nation. Up next, that record cold felt in Southern California was followed up by a record rain event in the same area. There is snow falling as well. And while the major winter storm is now crackling across the states, we have another system heading down the coast at SoCal once again. From record cold and snow and rain to record heat, the earth spot lows are driving just north of Scotland, which pulls the convergence and major wind storms down from its eastern edge, curling back around to the southwest. And the windstorm itself has been a battering ram in the atmosphere, the same force driving the high speeds, damage, and extreme heat pulled up from the southern waters was making it difficult to land an airplane as well. This is footage coming in of various types of airplanes, all having struggles. Folks, we are already working on the first glitch fix and update for the Disaster Prediction app. Wouldn't be a version 2, just a simple update you'd be able to download for free once you've already got the app. Be sure to watch the tutorial video as well if you haven't seen it. And folks, yesterday's Fly on the Wall broke down a lot of currently relevant topics, but we also dug into why the Saharan Desert Glass explanation makes very little sense, and why Raiders of the Lost Ark might be more of a true story than we could have ever believed. Yeah, Indy, that Raiders. You'll find that in the Fly on the Wall section of the premium content at suspiciousobservers.org, and we greatly appreciate your support. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.